one, two, three, click. Hello everyone, this is me, Mr. Big T Anderson. Today, well, we're going to be working on some magic. We're a magical scientist, a tomatage, if you will, a daddy -o. But we are going to do some swamp alchemy here today. We're being strangled by our own hatred. I mean, this is on Ichio. You can join me in being a, a swamp tomaturge. We're the last resort. So, let's get cracking. We've got a book. Drag it to the center. Nothing happens when we click on it, so... Let's add another book. Let's add an eye. Maybe another book? I'm just gonna add everything to it and go with the stew method. The stew method being, oh, let's just add everything to something and see what happens. So, with the eye in the book, we got the Codex Quinea. We saw its pages and they saw us. The more we stared at it, the more we realized we were wrong. The impact of each action became all too obvious. So we closed it, cast it aside. We were unwilling to observe our legacy, unashamed. Or ashamed. There we go. So let's see what else we can tinker up with. Let's go with a skull. Drag it over there. Actually, is there... Okay, so we got books. Books are going to probably be my main thing, just because I like books. Mushroom in book equals the fungus thesaurus. We found fungal concoctions of abnormal origins. Okay, can I have it? Embracing the plentiful spores, we opened our minds to the mushrooms. They let us forget our misdeeds, and we love them for it. It seemed irrelevant that they were consuming us for all but a moment. Your lopsided green, you could glance their spongy gills. Some become more fungus than man. Yeah, kind of creepy. Design art and writing, Joe Dunkerley and Claire Simpson. I apologize to anyone whose name I butchered. Let's get, let's keep going. Let's have some fun. We got ginger. Good. Ginger is always a useful item. Uh, let's, let's go to the book. Oh, okay, I guess ginger and flower. Spice stem. We saw them thrive and we unearthed them. We hid them from sight, unable to watch them grow. Gradually, they crept back into our sights, so we sent them away. We watched from the comfort of our sofas as they continued to thrive as if spying us. Okay. Let's see. Flower. Flower. Come on. And... You know what? Well... That seems interesting. I want a relic of flowery beauty. Fortune Flora. Okay, let's see what this does. We follow, we purchased the elegant Flora. We told ourselves all was perfect as they donned our widow sills. Hallucinations began, we smiled, reaffirming the benefit of our purchase. When we turned to nightmares, we continued to spawn up. This was ours. It must be right. Hmm. Okay, well, we got a book now. Um, can we add a book to book? No, we cannot. Hmm. Relic to book?
Come on. Maybe we have to get this out of the way. Let's put let's put the skull back in. See what the skull gives us. The Tome of Enlightenment. Ooh, sounds important. Manifestation of Wisdom, the Infinite Well of Knowledge. Oh, so this is going to be a book with plenty of dust on it. But the all is right. Solutions for any and every matter. Yep. Yeah. I would read it. Just because I have a habit if a book says, this is a really dangerous book, I'm like, ooh. It's like candy to me. Candy. Um... This may go badly. Vision of flesh. It does not look that good. Yeah, we learned nothing, which tends to be the, uh, if, if you notice, that tends to be the kind of the habit of things people don't learn. The Wax Bound Journal. All these items kind of remind you of stuff that would be found in Legends of the Hidden Temple. You know, whoever remembers that show. Uh, <laughs> it, it just seems like most of these would be found in there, like the Waxbound Journal of, well, you know, such and such. And just... For all these items, these are kind of things that make the writer me kind of smile. Find them, just kind of think about them, pull that over in your mind. How can I make it happen? How can I make this something? How can I not make it something that always doesn't have a power? Does it not have who wants it and why? The candle of clairvoyance. In the flames we saw our future. We gazed into the burning maw of our apocalypse. The warm glow skimming along our cold fingers, the sensation most pleasant. We thought nothing of the distorted visions. We did nothing. Slowly, this future became our own. Sounds about right. So, you know what? I'm going to leave this here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a play. You can play it on your browser. Like this, actually. This is what I'm doing. It's on Ichio, and you know what? I hope you guys have a good one. Ta-ta for now.